Morning. As they often do, markets tend to switch between optimism and pessimism. In the case of traditional markets, that was a bit more of a risk on session yesterday. The S&P hit record levels just by an inch, but we're above 3,700. And then the S&P also hit uh, new highs. Treasuries in the dollar traded flat, but I believe that gave actually an opportunity for gold to be up again and now decidedly above 1,860. Almost as if investors had rotated out of crypto and into traditional assets, crypto is now down. So Bitcoin fell 4.5% on the session uh, and stepped out of an upward channel that was started early October and lasted until just um, yesterday. I'll, I'll put a picture actually in the written version of this uh, briefing. Now, dropping 4% and being in the mid 18 ks isn't significant by itself, but I think it's interesting that it's happening right now amidst positive news and a positive market sentiment and also so close to the 20k. Um, in regards to altcoins, in earlier briefings I had mentioned that if Bitcoin stagnated or retraced a bit, it would give an opportunity for altcoins to play catch up. That has not happened yet. Uh, so altcoins suffered, the Bitcoin dominance is up. Um, Ethereum is down 6%. Light, uh, sorry, Chainlink, Polkadot, Bitcoin Cash, Tezos are also down 6%. Litecoin fell 7% and then Cardano uh, fell 9% on the session. Now, it's interesting to see that the number of unique addresses in the DeFi space just hit 1 million. So DeFi is going to be more of a smaller market cap coins. And it's interesting to see that investors still have an interest, still have a hunger for that. And so again, it, it is a bit more supportive for the altcoin space. In terms of the more global, uh, let's say, crypto space, there's also positive news. Uh, Standard Charter just announced that they will be offering in the future, not just now, um, institutional crypto trading services. And so, of course, it piles on the news that we had seen earlier this year with DBS posting a page about a crypto service uh, and also about German institutions following on uh, in that same uh, track. Another thing that I found interesting was the growth of USDC relative to USDT. Now, USDC is an actually fully backed um, one-to-one -one stable coin with the US dollar, and it typically, ha typically has a more institutional feel as opposed to USDT, which isn't. Uh, so I think that's positive. It suggests that there's actually more institutions coming into the space. Um, and lastly, uh, as a last information nugget, interesting to see Square invest uh, 10 million in a clean Bitcoin energy uh, investment fund or initiative. Uh, so suggesting they're still investing in the space, looking at it and trying to go about it the right way. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day.